these guys didn't have so much dang debt, they would probably join my war. Uh, so with that being said, I think we're going to pay off their debt so that way they'll join our war. <laughs> but uh, welcome back, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And welcome back to uh, Flavor Universalis Tuscany. We are finishing up the war, uh, mostly just with... Uh, we just got to kick France out. That's the major, major one. And uh, what we need to do is just wait a few months. And I think we can probably get a few ducats here. And eh, not really. But getting a little bit of base tax um, exploitation would be good because... Then we can send them a gift and they may actually be willing to join just based off of what we can give them right now. Let's see here. There we go. Just like that. Call them in. Why not, right? No downside to it. Those guys should get wiped. And uh, just like that, the French came over and are sitting on that fort, which is perfect. That's like exactly what I want them to do. Um, Base tax in Modena. I can do that. Like, shoot, man. In the next couple of months will be good. So here we go. That's a 25, 1, 10 stack. We have more than that. We have a full back row of cannons, which means um, wait until after the, the month here. And that way we can consolidate our armies or shift consolidate rather. That way we get a little bit of extra oomph and take a look at this. These cannons are just absolutely going to be devastating them. Look how many losses they're taking. Even though they rolled really well there. They are going to get absolutely clapped. Clapped in this war. France is not going to want to be in this war for long. I guarantee that. You can speed five. That was basically his whole army, wasn't it? No, about half of them. The rest are over here, which is fine with me. I don't mind particularly. Let's uh, pay for that, and that'll give us our... Oh, shoot. Did I just... Is it six? Yeah, it's because I exploited the dev. Oopsies. Whatever, we're not going to be using our admin mana for anything else useful, so this is fine. Prague going to get siege down. Is there not a fort here? They don't have a fort on Prague anymore? All right. AI is uh, a, seems a little too willing to uh, get rid of their forts this time around, to be honest, but that's okay. Advisor cost, possible advisors, minimum autonomy and territories, or next promoted cultures. Well, we don't have any of that issue, so I suppose we'll just go with uh, the advisor cost. I like advisor cost. It's a solid modifier, right? Once we take Venice, all I want in this war is Venice, so, you know. No, uh, no major pressure to do anything else other than just piece these guys out. Come on now, you jerks. We still don't have Scorched Earth, so we're going to have to get those guys in there. They, uh, they noped out of there, which is good for us. They're going to head up here and uh, probably try to beat up on my guys. But you got to gotta remember that these guys are a march. Though I think they're too big to get the bonuses for being a march. They do have more morale than we do. And the same amount of discipline. From uh, defensive ideas. Oh my gosh. Stop being annoying, dude. They got wiped. What a stupid ass joke. All right. Whatever, man. Of course, this province here. You guys want to come on in? Be there on the 6th? Of course, they changed their mind. Dude, this is annoying. AI gonna AI, I guess. Yeah, they're gonna get wiped. There's nothing I can do about it either. Perfect. Let's course this province here. They want to come and attack me. They'll be there on the 20th. And as long as I'm there around that time, it doesn't really matter. Let's get a general in there just so they don't get wiped, though. Uh, let's get a maneuver pip on you. And that's a win. Like, it doesn't matter. There's no way around that. That's a win. And it looks like we actually took Venice as well. So in this war, I just want Venice. That's all I want. It's annoying that they uh, wipe my army, though. Classic France. Just, you know, having massive armies. Ottoman's no longer a valid rival. Okay. I don't really believe that. But okay. The game says it. So it is true, apparently. <laughs> Guys, I do want to ask you, if you've been enjoying the campaign, if you uh, have not already, leave a like, left a like on the video. I would appreciate it a big, a lot, bigly, as a matter of fact. Because uh, it's what helps other people find my videos, is if the YouTube algorithm says, you are worthy. All right, Paris has been won. Give it to Byzantium for defensiveness purposes. France is probably going to one out soon, yeah? There we go. I will have them, have them, have them. Give me war reps. 
Very good. That's all I needed. And just like that, this war's over now, right? So now if I wanted to, I could give um, some provinces to Austria. But I don't think I'm gonna. So we're also gonna take all of his money as well. That's fine. Venice is ours, which will allow us to click this mission. Let's take a look here. Uh, we do have Murano glass industry. It does exist here. So it's plus two goods produced. And it says it's going to remove it. And it will then get 2.5 and extra trade good. And we get some production in Siena. So that's really solid. Um, I don't see it. Uh, come again? Did I misread that? Devastation is pretty bad, huh? Luckily that fort will handle it. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that. I don't know why, um, why that happened. I think I must have misread it, but it's okay. No big deal. We will now click this button here. And as far as our mission tree goes, oh, right. Dang it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm going to end up failing this. Estate. Uh, the, um, whatever. The thing. Oh, you know the thing. I'm curious if I can threaten him for this core. Oh, he's transferring trade power to me. Yeah, I knew that. So let's have these guys come over here and have them conform to that template and have them drill in. These guys are suppressing rebels. These guys are suppressing rebels. All is well. A little warm in my office, so I apologize if you can hear my fan. Leather, huh? Yeah, let's get some leather. Because we have decent uh, production bonuses in these areas. Oh, yeah. Lots of goods produced. So that'll be solid. Free stability. Yes, please. I will take it. And let's go with Spy Network Construction. I'd rather get a trade efficiency guy, preferably, or trade steering. One of them to be uh, Tuscan culture, though. That would be ideal. Um, let's see here. Uh, global trade power. Still not quite what I'm looking for here. This is fine. We got Forza Italia, which, um, Iron Regiment Mercenary Company, national manpower, and goods produced for the rest of the game. Very solid. And now all we need is this one, which is, um, have at least five provinces with universities and 35 dev, which is super doable. Army tradition. So that means we're going to be locked in. Uh, it's still not too good, honestly. We could. Looks like we need some more forts. So let's build some more forts, huh? Um, These guys need some forts over here as well. Let's see here. I need some in the south big time. So let's get like... Dev these guys a bit. See if we can get them some more forts. Not for any reason other than I just want to... Um, Oopsies. I just want to make sure that we have the army tradition. That's the major thing. A lot of people don't uh, don't get it. Very strong. I don't want to use mill mana. So I'm not going to. Just kidding. I'm going to use it for that one. And then we'll do one down here in Salento as well. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of you. It's not for any reason other than army tradition. Before anybody complains. Because people always get upset about that. It's fine. It's really fine, I promise. Uh, let's get rid of you. And build you here. It'll also help us out with uh, devastation reduction, which is, you know, not a bad thing. Let's see here. Now, the devastation reduction... There isn't one. That's for late game, apparently. Okay. And I'm converting all these provinces for him. I don't mind. Like, there's no... No downside to it. I don't plan to annex him anytime soon, if not maybe even at all. So I'm all right with having them be big and strong. And uh, devastation over here is going down. Doge's Palace will give us yearly Republican tradition and reform growth. And this one will give us ship durability and naval force limit, as well as production in Venezia. So all good things coming. Uh, global trade power or spy network. Uh, let's go with the global trade power. It's fine. He's half off because he's of our culture. Michelangelo still just kicking around. Far from ideal. All Tuscan provinces owned by Tuscany. More resistant to religious conversion. Very good. Thank you. 
Yeah, if I can avoid the Protestant Reformation at all, I would be very happy about that. And uh, yeah, I want to make sure that we can push for this. If at all, if it's at all possible, I want it. You know what? I'll just push for it. It's fine. So over here, if we take a look, the Arsenal of Venice. Each update upgrade will give it uh, give them some base production, which is solid. And I'm all right with using my manpower. Like we're gaining so much of it that it's not a, it's not an issue, right? The Doge's Palace will give us Republican tradition gain, so I should probably get that upgraded as well. Is this guy level three yet? It is not. Hmm. Let's take a look at our great projects. Yeah. This one will give us a little more papal influence as well as papal influence gain, as well as the extra missionary. But we have four missionaries and I'm not even using them. What? Oh, the counter reformation. Right, 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 right. Um, Very good. That is fine with me. Tuscan guy down here. Yes. Very affordable. Was that actually the wrong guy? No. Yeah, I think we're good. And um, I should probably take Miltech. But if we just push through this, then it means Miltech is cheaper anyway, so it's fine with me. What kind of... So we get Army Tradition Decay, Recruitment Time, and Manpower Recovery. Those are both okay. I don't mind it. Let's see here. Yes, we'll continue to influence my boys. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's get these guys upgraded as well. We definitely need to make sure we keep our fleet upgraded. It's very important. Let's have you guys protect trade in Benicia. Let's upgrade this guy to level three. I cannot do it yet, but I guarantee you us taking Venice is helping us out with our economy quite a bit. 140 ducats a month. Sheesh. Look at that, man. Goodness gracious, that's crazy. Let's see here. That is solid, man. Rock solid. Let's decrease that autonomy there as well. And um, we'll just keep keep on uh, sinking our stuff into that. That's fine with me. Now I'm gonna wait. There's no point in taking this ahead of time. I'd rather save the thirty the thirty times six or sixty times three. The hundred eighty. Uh, he's still young, isn't he? Sixty. Um. Hmm. I think we'll uh, we'll go with the other guy. I don't want to spend like 30-some just for him to die. Doesn't make much sense. So we have elections every 13 years. So we definitely need to upgrade the Doge's Palace. I think that should actually be more important, to be honest with you. But it's also nice because the reform progress growth, once we get this one down here, will allow us to um, start really dumping our mana into governing cap boosts, which is going to be really solid. Yeah, these guys are uh, problematic. Looks like they're deving their land. Let's see here, actually. Can I yoink it? I cannot yoink, sadly. We can yoink from here. It would lower them by 10. It wouldn't gain much for us, so there's not really a point in it. I don't need them to be weakened. So let's take a look at their mission tree and see where we're at here. Now, we want to go down their uh, economic ones. Number of light ships. Okay. Athens... Okay, has a university or have the Parthenon upgraded. So I'll upgrade that for them. And that should give them that mission. Uh, Right there. And that will give them a university there as well as some... Uh, ooh! Price of marble changes. Well, that doesn't affect us because we actually have uh, our thing upgraded to uh, marble sculptures which is solid. So let's see here. Where else are we at with these guys? I'm actually really enjoying the sort of like vicarious Byzantium play. <laughs> uh, clergy, loyalty, at least 60. There's nothing I can do about that. That's just something that they have to do on their own. The wooden wall. Number of admirals, at least three. There's nothing I can do about that. Army, equal to 150,000. Base production in... Abidros, Abidros, at least 10. 
and uh, have a workshop. So where's this Abidros? So they're pretty close, so I'll give them that, and then I'll build that guy there. And that will get that mission done. Which will give them... Where are we at here? Ten! Wow! I think I can, that'll actually mean I'll be able to incorporate that, right? Cannons will now be produced. And ten will be produced in zeros, which is right here. And I believe, if I recall correctly, that will allow me to import resources from a subject here. Okay, so that's copper. We have copper. I don't care about the copper. We are going to push for that. Oh, yeah, it's going to be so cheap. <laughs> It'll be like 350 mana. Once we get there. Very solid. Uh, Papal influence, please and thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to keep dumping into this until I can get it. Though the mercantilism is not a bad thing to have, but... I really want to get this, man. So we're just waiting on that to finish up there. Uh, let's take a look here. Yep, yeah, once this building is done, this province over here should switch to tin, which tin is what we need for a cannon foundry. You can see here, uh, where are we at here? Cannons, we need tin. I have no tin, right? So if we take a look, there's some tin over here. We have no tin. There's none, but there will be some over here then, which will be good. Come on, baby. Finish. Finish the building. There you go. Is it 10 now? Hey, it's 10 now. So that will be... This is from Trago's Expanded, if you didn't know. So I will take these provinces here. There you go. Thank you. Byzantium has sent me a gift. Very good. So now I should have access to a cannon foundry. And we will build it in a province that is not producing something super useful. In a province that I can dev pretty easily enough. Let's take a look here. What about this beer province? Let's build a cannon foundry here, yeah? Keep the barracks. Keep the courthouse. The canal system will keep as well. Um, I guess we get rid of the marketplace. That's fine. So then we want to build a cannon foundry there. What that will do is that will convert the trade good to cannons, which is really, really good. Uh, Capitania. So that is in Genoa. So I don't really care about it. Uh, actually, I'm fine with it. If you don't know, you can see here, we're producing... Oh, we're actually producing like all of the leather in the world. And if you are the leading trader in uh, leather, you can see here. Let me see. Where are we at? Strategic goods. If you sort by leather... Shock damage received, 5%. So we are definitely the leading producer. Latent goods is so good. I love latent goods, man. Love it. All right, what's here? Olives. We produce a large chunk of the world's olives right in this province right here. Sienna is mercury, which is giving us um, idea cost. So that's solid. Silk. Hmm. This one's paper. L She's here, and this one... Okay, so let's let's do it here in uh, Von Ferrat. And what that will do is that will switch that one over to Optics, which will give us bonuses to our... Um, what is it called here? It's a leader maneuver or something like that. It's a leader pip for our admirals. Uh, where are we at? Am I... Optics? Do I just not see it? Uh, am I being dumb? <laughs> I think I am just being dumb. Either way, it's fine. We will take a look there. And then, looks like there's nothing else we can build here. Cannon Foundry, we could build another one. Let's see here. 75% of the trade here. So I suppose if we wanted to switch this one over as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's switch this cannon, this one over to a Cannon Foundry as well in Verona. Because what happens is, is to get the trading in bonus, you have to be collecting trade that it is like the goods produced. So you'll see once it switches over to cannons, it will uh, increase the amount of trade or the, the goods produced. We'll switch over to cannons. So you can see here, and we are producing 
about half of the world's cannons in this province. Um, and then if we get a weapons manufacturer here, we'll produce even more, which is really good. Um, let's see here. Montferrat is now optics, which is great. Uh, spectacle factory is good. So now we need to take a look at what else. So let's get rid of this regimental camp and build a mill. Ooh, admin tech 16. All right. Well, we're actually almost there, right? Yeah, that'll be good. I will now take, um, at least the army tradition one. The manpower recovery is okay. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. That's fine with me. And now we can take Miltech and it will cost us 342 mana. It's pretty good, right? And meanwhile, we're just kind of, you know, finagling around here, figuring out our uh, goods. These guys are nice and happy. They're still too big to be... Let me see here. Less than 313. So they're only 10 dev over the limit that they're allowed to be. Hmm. Interesting. What other ideas have they gone with? Religious, defensive, admin. Okay. What's our truce to the Ottomans looking like? 73. Yeah, and the reason why I'm not in a rush to form Italy is we want to click this mission so we can get that tech cost for the rest of the game. And in order to get that, we need uh, absolutism or the tech, tech that uh, absolutism comes at, the admin tech that is. So if we take a look at these optics here, we are the only person in the world producing optics which is solid. Verona is now cannons as well. So we will also build a cannon foundry here. So you can see now this province produces, uh, right. I hate that it does that. I don't really know what causes that to happen. Okay, there we go. So we are producing 2.16 of the 5.7 produced in the world here and 1.5 here. Now, if we switch these guys over to the dev cost edict, make sure our burgers are happy. We don't have prosperity and we're not going to because of the, uh, this guy over here. The devastation in Venice is going to be punishing, but, um, we might as well do some, uh, production dev here. And that will increase the goods produced. Cause remember it's just 4.25. So these trade goods, it's double, it's two part. We produce a lot, the goods produced. So. The, the, the kind of the rough thing is, is this goods produced is how much it is per year. So per year, we will produce 3.24 that will go into this node at this rate. So it's, it adds an extra seven point, whatever, eight, eight point, whatever into the trade node that we will collect. So it's really solid to have like, really like stack up your trade good trade goods that are high dev or high dev. Like this is the high value is what I meant to say there. So very solid stuff. Let's uh, get you guys upgraded. Okay. And now that will be done and we will get more reform progress, which is solid. 27%, man, if we don't get it, I don't even know what to say. Let's also see here, Poland beating up on them. Let's see, can I uh, do any... Can I sabotage them? Support rebels? That'd be great. Um, Ottoman noble rebels, huh? Once I have the money, I can do it. I actually don't know what this does, right? It just causes them to be more powerful, I guess. Do they have particularists? They do not. It's just the noble rebels there. Well, I will support the noble rebels. And that should actually allow me to see them, right? Oh, they're getting gang banged. Oh my gosh. Oh, we destroyed them. We've absolutely gutted the, the uh, Ottomans. It's so good. I love it. So good. About to max out on admin mana like you do. So we might as well uh, click the button a few times. And then let's see what we can yoink back. And that will just give us a bit more money in the bank that we can use to uh, build more latent goods and stuff like that, right? So obviously we want to be building these in all of their provinces, every single one of them. There's no downside to it. So just build them, especially because it'll help us shuttle our armies around over there. So literally no downside to it. Um, let's uh, build a couple of these guys. The uh, trade value modifier is good, right? Trade value modifier 10%. It's a solid modifier. I'm a big fan. What that does is it means that um, 
the value of the good that is produced in that province is increased. So a solid bonus. Take Miltech. Yes, please. Pope man. Do you still love me? Yeah, they love me. They're basically guaranteed to love me. This is bad. Oh no, I lost admin mana. Whatever will I do? All right, lads. Well, that's a great place to call it. I think in the next episode, we are definitely going to attack and absolutely just destroy the Ottomans. Let's take a look here. Has our combat width gone up? 29. So let's prepare our army here. So we will go up to 29 and let's just um, let's go up to 31 here and we're going to get rid of our cav. So, oh, did I not save it? I thought I saved it. Let's see here. Uh, 29 and then 31. Very good. And you guys will conform to the template. And I will delete the cav because we don't need cav anymore. They are not as useful, especially if you're filling out the combat width. So these armies will group up, get grouped up, and we will send them over to... Um, looks like my general died. We'll send them over to uh, Turkey. And we will start... See, our fully maintained forts. It's gone down even more because of our development. But that's okay. All right, so we got our 60 stack. Let's get them over to uh, here. And lads, we're going to do this war in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. If you have, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff if you haven't already. And if you need to uh, check out the Discord, it's linked in the description below the videos as well as my subreddit, Twitter, all that stuff. Let's uh, make sure we are upgrading these forts. There is literally no downside to having our forts upgraded, except for the fact that it costs a little bit more money, but that is fine with me. We do need to get these forts upgraded for them as well. But lads, if you want to support me, I do have my Patreon link below my videos. It's uh, it's the best way that you can support the channel. If you uh, like the content and you want to see more of it, that is the best way to do it is supporting on the Patreon. Um, You know what? I'm going to dev this province up here and build a level four fort here because this is mountains and it will communicate with that. So that is fine. We have plenty of excess mana. Now let's have these guys ready for war. These guys have 82,000 men, and uh, we're going to do this war in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying. This is Chuishu, and I will catch you guys later.